After days of mourning, the funeral of Queen Elizabeth has taken place in Westminster Abbey. Millions of people are still lining the streets of London as the day of remembrance continues. CBS 2's Christine Johnson has been leading our coverage. She joins us live from London with the latest. Christine? Well, good morning to you, Cindy, and everyone there back in the tri-state area. The Queen's coffin is now part of a motorcade that is on its way to Windsor, Windsor Castle, after leaving um, Westminster Hall and also Westminster Abbey, where the funeral service took place today. You can see here from these live pictures, people lining the streets along the path, all wishing Her Majesty their best wishes, her one final look before she is laid to rest. Now before they left, there was another procession through the royal streets of London here. She passed by her home, Buckingham Palace, one last time. Of course, this was the Queen's formal residence. She always thought that this was her working residence, so to speak. And then earlier inside the Abbey, we saw the royal family all together. We saw the King, we saw the Queen Consort, we saw Princess Anne and the other siblings. Also, we saw the heir to the throne, Prince William, his wife Catherine, and their children as well, who were present, who were present for the funeral services, along with dignitaries, the President of the United States, and of course, our First Lady. Now, if I could just direct your attention once again, if we can, to the live pictures of this procession heading towards Windsor. Windsor was more of a home for the Queen and their family. It's also where St. George's Chapel it, um, sits, right on Palace grounds there. It is where Prince Philip is buried, it is where her parents are buried, and it's also where her sister Margaret is buried. And you can see there the hearse that is carrying the Queen's coffin. That was actually specially designed with her consultation. You'll notice there that it is, um, there's lots of windows, and this was by special request because she knew that people would be out to see her and would want she wanted her coffin in full display so that there would be no obstructions for the people that loved and adored her throughout her 96 years of life and, of course, for that 70-year reign on the throne. Cindy, back to you. Christine, I know St. George's Chapel is special to the Queen and the royal family. Very fitting. This is where she chose to be buried. It is. You know, people there around Windsor, we spent some time there last week when we first arrived, and people there, it's, it's as if she's part of the town, believe it or not. She felt very comfortable walking the streets there. She attended many, many dedication ceremonies there. You walk throughout the little town, and you'll see statues of the Queen um, all throughout the years, some of them depicted when she was a younger woman, some, you know, into her senior years. But it is a very special place for her. For, for the family as well. Um, it's a very quaint town, and they did. They adored and they loved her queen, and they did give her space up there, which is what she adored. And she'd also spent, Cindy, most of um, the pandemic up there, up at the Windsor Castle, and permanently making it her home back in March of this year. Christine, you and Ali Bauman have been in London since the queen passed. I'm just, I'm wondering what site or what interview really you'll bring home with you and, and always remember? Well, I think the moment that I will bring home with me, Cindy, was when I walked into Westminster Hall and I saw the Queen's coffin lying in state and all of the pageantry that surrounds it. I saw the Queen's imperial crown, the orb and the scepter, and I saw all of the people passing through that hall mourning, mourning, just, you know, in, in such a solemn, solemn hall. It was quiet as can be. The only time you really heard noise was during the changing of the guards. And it did make me understand quite a bit more what this nation is feeling with the loss of their queen. And certainly, they knew she was going to die eventually, but I just think the finality of it all really did um, make them feel so sad and also just the changing of the guard so to speak she's been their queen for 70 years 
it's hard, it's weird to even say King Charles. People are still getting used to that. Yeah. Um, but I would have to say that that moment there was was one that I will always remember. And of course, talking to people on the queue who just wanted to do something, wanted to do something for Queen Elizabeth, and that was their way of spending hours and hours and hours on the queue to get into Westminster Hall. Well, Christine Johnson in London for us this morning. Thank you, Christine.